What on earth compelled you to make this decision to give up your kidney to someone you'd met only once before? There was a story I heard on the radio, and it had to do with uh, long-term effects of living kidney donors. And it was a somewhat negative story, but to me, it was positive in that someone can change somebody's life. It created a question inside of me that I could not make go away, and that question was, why would God design a body with two kidneys when you only need one to live if you weren't supposed to give one away? And then, through my work with Shorty University and dealing, helping to better people's lives, I thought this is just natural. This is something natural. that higher education does it here, and this is giving something away that I really don't even need. <laughs> David, tell me about your thoughts, your reactions when you open up that mailbox and you read this, this letter. I mean, there ain't much you can say. I mean, somebody's willing to do that for you. It's amazing. Did you think it was real? Did you have any doubts? We knew it was real. Well, my wife knew it was real, so we were grateful, very grateful. Still are. And I can feel the emotion and I can see it because this is... How long had you been on the list? It was December the... Tw or September the 26th is when I got put on the list. So I wasn't on the list long at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people have been on the list for eight, nine years and having to do dialysis, and I don't have to go that way. I mean, I'm very grateful for John. The surgery is Friday. Mm -hmm. You have to tell me about how you're both feeling. Nervous, afraid, John? Uh, for a split second, have you at any point had any second thoughts about this? Not one. I had already made the commitment in my heart and mind before I even knew that David needed a kidney. And there's never been a second thought, especially all the things that have developed and showing how, and I, I hate to keep interjecting God into this, but just how God designs people's individual lives so that they're woven together at a certain time to meet a need. And that's exactly what happened. And I'm, I'm really just honored to be a part of it because his family has given my family the opportunity to have the best Christmas we have ever understood. And I know that this has brought your families very close together. David, how are you feeling ahead of the surgery on, on Friday? I'm ready. You're ready? I'm ready. Is there anything you want to say to him while you have him here? Just, you know, in this moment, ahead of you going into theater? Thank you. I love you. I love you. You'll both be in our thoughts and prayers as you go in for the surgery on Friday. I thank want to you. thank you both for coming in and sharing this amazing story of kindness. Thank you to you both. Thank you for having us. Best of luck for Friday. Thank, thank you. you.